In just a blink of an eye, we've transformed our canine companions. Rottweilers, once the muscle-bound laborers of the dog world, now sport sleek coats and strut around like they own the place. Dachshunds, those wiener wonders, used to have legs slightly taller than their noses. Now they've gone full hot dog. And let's not forget the Siberian Huskies. Once rocking shorter coats to beat the chills, now exhibit luxurious fur like they're ready for a fashion shoot in the Arctic. From tall tails to tail wags, dogs have been on quite the glow-up journey with us. Get ready for some amazing stories about how these changes happened. Number 15, Airedale Terrier. A long time ago, the Airedale Terrier was a tough dog, really smart too. People liked them for hunting and working on farms. Nowadays, they still look tough, but with a fancier coat. They're from Yorkshire, England, and were made in the 1800s. Back then, they hunted small animals and were good swimmers. In World War I, they did all sorts of important jobs, like delivering messages and carrying stuff. Number 14, Saluki. Over the past hundred years, the Saluki has quietly changed, but it's been a big deal. Back in the early 1900s, people loved the Saluki for its sleek body and super speed. It had this fancy long coat and fluffy bits on its ears and tail that made it even more stunning. But nowadays, people have worked on making it look even better. They've kept its coat fancy and its body slim and speedy. This dog comes from way back in history, over 4,000 years ago in the Middle East. They've even found mummified Salukis hanging out with ancient Egyptian rulers, showing just how ancient this dog really is. Number 13, Rottweiler. A century ago, Rottweilers were tough working dogs, but not as bulky as today. Humans pumped them up to be beefier over time. Nowadays, they rock a sleek black coat with tan patches, giving off a strong vibe. Their story began in Rottweil, Germany, where they helped butchers haul carts and herd cattle around the 1800s. Though famous as guard dogs, they're versatile. They've done police work, saved lives, and even assisted people with disabilities. Number 12, German Shepherd. Long ago, German Shepherds looked different. They were slimmer and had various coat colors, but people changed them to look the same. Now they're bigger with thick, straight fur in tan and black. They're easy to spot with their pointy ears and long noses. These dogs were invented in Germany in the late 1800s. They used to herd sheep and keep them safe. Nowadays, they're heroes in police and army jobs worldwide. Number 11, Bull Terrier. Bull Terriers look a lot different now than they did in the past. They used to be slimmer and not as muscular, with a more normal shaped head. But breeders changed things up over time to make them stand out. Now, Bull Terriers have strong bodies and those famous egg-shaped heads that make them unique. Their eyes are small and triangular, and they always seem to have a happy expression. These dogs first appeared in England in the early 1800s. Back then, they were bred from a mix of the old English Bulldog and another kind of terrier that doesn't exist anymore. They were originally trained to fight. One Bull Terrier named Rufus even won a big dog show in 2006. The winner of the Terrier Group, Colored Bull Terrier, number 11. Number 10, Doberman. The Doberman started off as a big, sturdy buddy with a tough look. But over time, breeders fancied making them sleeker and more stylish. Now they're all about that muscular body, slim head, and strong chest. This breed was born in Germany thanks to a guy named Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman in the late 1800s. During World War II, the U.S. Marines found these dogs super useful in the Pacific for keeping watch, carrying messages, and scouting. They even got a special memorial in Guam to remember their bravery. Number 9. Siberian Husky 
A hundred years ago, Siberian Huskies were mainly working dogs with fluffy fur, pointy ears, and cool patterns, which they still have today. Nowadays, they might be a bit taller and come in more colors, even having cool blue and mixed colored eyes that lots of people love. These awesome dogs originally come from Northeast Asia, specifically a place called the Chukchi Peninsula in Siberia. The Chukchi people, who were nomads from Siberia, trained these dogs to pull sleds across long distances. Siberian Huskies helped save a town called Nome, Alaska during a sickness outbreak in 1925. They were part of a team of sled dogs that carried medicine over nearly 700 miles of icy land in super cold weather. Number 8. Irish Setter Irish Setters were awesome hunting pals back in the day, with a leaner build and a coat that kept them cozy in fields and wetlands. They weren't as glam as today's dogs, but they got the job done. Over time, breeders fancied up their looks, making their coats longer and richer in color. Now they're bigger and more elegant, but still super friendly. These pups originated from Ireland and were top-notch at finding game birds. Number 7. Dachshund The Dachshund, a dog with a long body and short legs, has changed a lot over time, especially in how it looks and what colors its coat comes in. Long ago, dachshunds were tough hunters, a bit like they are today. But now they have even longer backs and shorter legs, and their coats can be smooth, long-haired, or wire-haired. They started in Germany over 600 years ago, where they were bred to hunt badgers. They were super popular in Germany and even became a symbol of the country. But during World War I and II, people in other countries didn't like anything German, so dachshunds weren't as popular. One dachshund named Waldi became famous as the mascot for the 1972 Munich Olympics. Number 6. Shih Tzu Over the years, Shih Tzus have turned into even cozier lap dogs, sporting longer, silkier fur. Back in the day, people already loved them for their fancy coats and adorable faces. But today, they've upped their game with even longer flowing fur and more colorful options. Their faces are extra cute, with that signature chrysanthemum hairdo standing out even more. These pups have a long history, possibly coming from Tibet or China, where they were bred to look like lions, which are important in Buddhist stories. They almost disappeared after some big changes in China, but thankfully, a few made it to England in the 20th century and became beloved by the royal family there. Number 5. Bulldog Bulldogs used to look different, more like athletes with taller bodies and fewer wrinkles. Back then, they were used for a mean sport called bull baiting, but luckily that's banned now. Nowadays, bulldogs are shorter and stockier with wrinkly faces, thanks to how people breed them. They've been around since the 13th century, originally from England. Number 4. Chow 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 Chows are a special kind of dog with a mane like a lion and a tongue that's blue-black. Back in the old days, they were strong and had lots of fur, but they weren't as fancy-looking as they are now. Thanks to careful breeding, they've gotten fluffier and more majestic with a bigger mane around their heads and a fancier stance. These dogs have been around for more than 2,000 years, starting out in northern China. They were favorites in fancy Chinese homes and were really liked by emperors. Number 3. Labrador Retriever Back in the early 1900s, Labrador Retrievers were more about work, being a bit skinnier with shorter fur. But over time, people started breeding them to be bigger, with thicker fur and wider heads. That's why nowadays, labs are great helpers in all sorts of jobs, like guiding people, finding lost things, and just being awesome family pets. Even though they're called Labradors, they actually come from Newfoundland, Canada. Yep, not Labrador. They were first trained to help out with fishing stuff in the cold ocean. Then they traveled to England, where people made them even better at what they do. Number 2. English Springer Spaniel 
Back in the early 1900s, English Springer Spaniels were kinda medium-sized pups with shorter fur, great for outdoor work. But as time trotted on, they kinda split into two groups. The field ones, all about working, and the show ones with fancier coats and looks for the stage. The show types have longer, silkier hair, especially on their ears, chest, and legs. And they're a bit beefier than the field pals. These dogs have their roots deep in England, going way back to the 1800s. Originally, they were bred to help hunters by flushing out game, which is why they're called Springers. One standout among them was Buster. He was no ordinary pup. He served in the military, sniffing out hidden weapons in Iraq and saving a bunch of lives. Buster's bravery earned him the Dickon Medal, the highest honor for animals in the UK military. Number 1. Pugs Pugs used to look different long ago. They had longer noses and fewer wrinkles, but people changed them through breeding. Now they have shorter noses, big eyes, and lots of wrinkles. Today's pugs have round heads, strong bodies, and curly tails. Pugs started in China a long time ago, around 200 BC. They were loved by Chinese kings and lived in fancy places. Later, they came to Europe with Dutch traders in the 16th century. Pugs even hung out with royal families in Europe. In 1572, a pug named Pompey barked to warn Prince William about Spanish soldiers so he could run away. And that's all for today's episode. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and stay with us for more exciting videos.